the potential of fire in petroleum, chemical, and general industrial complexes is ever present. And with the acute shortage of fuels and raw materials, coupled with increasing demand, storage tank protection is more important than ever. This film presents a new UL-listed system for fire protection of flammable liquid storage tanks. Lightwater brand AFFF 2% subsurface injection. Lightwater agent has long been recognized for its rapid knockdown and extinguishment of spill and area fires. In tests conducted throughout the world, it has also proved to be an effective agent for extinguishing fires inside tanks when using fixed tank protection systems. This overall versatility of light water agent provides superior cost-effective protection for storage tank facilities. In Japan, a country which relies heavily on bulk storage of fuels for economic survival, much attention is focused on this new system of tank protection. Under the guidance of Japan's Fire Defense Agency and the Fire Defense Research Institute, thorough tests to evaluate the subsurface injection concept were conducted at Nagata, Japan in October 1976. These tests designed to determine the effectiveness of light water, AFFF, 2% subsurface injection on large-scale, long pre-burn fires were sponsored by Sumitomo 3M, Sankey Engineering, and Miata Industries. Currently, the most common forms of fixed tank protection are the topside foam chamber systems. Unlike the conventional topside method, the discharge outlet for the SSI system is located near the bottom of the tank. The foam solution is pumped into a forcing foam maker, foam is generated, and is injected at the base of the tank above a water bottom. The foam rises to the top and extinguishes the burning fuel as it spreads across the surface. Only the turbulent area where the foam disrupts the fuel surface continues to burn until foam discharge is shut off and foam seals the area. The AFFF foam solution is produced by mixing light water concentrate with water and air. When this foam is applied to flammable liquids, a unique aqueous film is secreted and floats over the fuel surface. The aqueous film, shown here with dye added, acts as a vapor barrier. It extinguishes, secures, and even prevents ignition by sealing off volatile vapors. During the six months of preparation at Nagata, for these tests, the testing grounds were carefully prepared throughout with elaborate precautions and sensitive measuring devices. The SSI system was set up as follows. The foam discharge outlet is located 3.3 feet from the tank bottom. A concrete dike is constructed and the premix tank, pump, and foam maker are located outside this dike. The tank is filled to a depth of 23 feet with light crude oil, having a composition similar to gasoline. Several preliminary cold tests are conducted to check out the system. The foam is forced through the discharge outlet and into the tank. It floats to the top and rapidly spreads over the surface. Foam expansion, drain time, fuel pickup, and other data are recorded. Prior to the light water agent 2% subsurface injection tests, a commonly accepted tank extinguishing agent was first run. This agent, fluoroprotein 3% concentrate, was used following the manufacturer's recommendations of 4% proportioning and in accordance with its UL listing. This was done to reference the results of light water agent tests. Data was recorded and films were taken of all tests Although, for the sake of time, this film will show only three of five separate light water agent tests. The pre-burn times and the number of discharge outlets used will vary in each test. The wind is blowing in a northwest direction at 13 miles per hour, and the outside temperature is 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Fire in this test is allowed to burn unhindered for 10 minutes. It is important to note that no cooling water is applied to the tank during pre-burn 
or extinguishment. One discharge outlet and 3% light water agent are used in this test. After 10 minutes of pre-burning without water cooling on the tank walls, the light water foam is discharged and extinguishment begins. Approximately 30 seconds are required to fill the foam delivery pipe and for the foam to reach the fuel surface. The application rate is 0.1 gallons per minute per square foot. The nominal 3% light water concentrate is proportioned at 2% or two-thirds its normal concentration. One minute and 20 seconds after discharge, the fire rapidly diminishes. This condition is called knockdown. The SSI system, with only a small amount of light water extinguishing agent, controls the fire quickly. Flames remain around the edge of the foam, but they are gradually subsiding as the light water foam cools the surface of the hot metal. Two minutes and 45 seconds after discharge, 90% of the fire has been controlled. Injection continues and the fire in the turbulent area gradually decreases. When the turbulent area reaches the predetermined diameter of six and a half feet, foam discharge is stopped. This occurs at eight minutes and 20 seconds. The agent spreads across the surface to suffocate the remaining flames and at 8 minutes and 47 seconds, the fire is out. The tank is cooled, foam is removed, and the fuel is analyzed in preparation for the next test. In this test, the pre-burn time will be doubled to 20 minutes. Again, without cooling water, the performance of the extinguishing agent will be measured against the effect of the tank shell temperature during this long burning fire. The uncooled tank shell temperature reaches 1,445 degrees Fahrenheit, or 785 degrees Celsius. Weather conditions for this test find the wind blowing in an east-northeast direction at 9 miles per hour. The outside temperature is 50 degrees Fahrenheit.
Knockdown occurs at 1 minute and 25 seconds after initial discharge. This fire is extinguished in 7 minutes and 22 seconds. In this test, the conditions are similar to the previous test. The only exception is that two discharge outlets are used 180 degrees opposite each other. Each outlet with 50% of the flow in the single outlet tests. The total application rate is 0.1 gallons per minute per square foot. Pre-burn time is 10 minutes. The agent is light water 3% concentrate proportioned at 2%. Knockdown condition is achieved in one minute and five seconds 90% control is achieved in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, and the fire is out in 6 minutes and 19 seconds. Total application time is 5 minutes and 50 seconds. Results from the two-day testing at Nagata and those obtained from numerous other fire tests throughout the world establish the light water AFFF subsurface injection system as effective means for extinguishing tank fires. Combining past results with the new 2% SSI tests, Lightwater AFFF demonstrates the single agent versatility needed for both fixed and mobile fire protection systems for petroleum storage tank facilities.